working with 10 different agencies unique in the fact that this has never been done before by the National Guard. I mean, we worked with a bunch of different state agencies during Sandy, but during this, we're working with the federal, we're working with FEMA, we're working with U.S. Public Health Service, who normally uh, doesn't work with uh, military organizations, they work with your, your civilian functions. Um, we're also working with state police, several different state police units. We're working with emergency management, also emergency management, also Homeland Security Preparedness, and we're working with State Police Holmdale, State Police TACPAC, and then even going down, there's some Department of Corrections personnel inside the emergency management function that we're working with directly. And then we're also working with the Department of Health personnel and then contract nurses as well. So it's just, we're all coming together to uh, really um, do our part, which is domestic operations and fulfill that need by the state to, to test personnel. For the first couple of days, we did have Air Force medical personnel on scene at PNC. Their mission was tasked forward. They were tasked forward to Secaucus. Uh, so now it's just 50 contract nurse personnel and then our 40 National Guardsmen to help with uh, site security and traffic control. It makes me proud to have the ability to be able to come out with a group of airmen I've never met before, integrate with a whole nother unit, come together within a couple of days and work cohesively. We have, again, citizen airmen from several different jobs, several different functions outside of uh, the National Guard, and we, several different AFSCs. So 40 total guardsmen that are all doing different jobs on the outside, all doing d different jobs on the inside. We're coming together as a team, coalescing together to accomplish this one mission, which is to help New Jersey fight COVID-19. When you look at our test sites and how many personnel we're pushing through, you know we're a part of this historic response to COVID-19. It's, again, not, not every day that uh, a citizen airman or even anyone in general gets to be a part of something so historic.